Look. Squeakers. I have to pause you for a minute. Hi guys, I'm back with part two of my haul video from this ginormous 20,000 square foot um, store called Treasure Mart. There's four of them here in Florida. So you guys might wanna look that up. I don't know if they're just starting to go franchise or they're just lucky enough to now open their fourth store. So it's called Treasure Mart. The one that I went to is new to me. It's in Eustis, Florida. And when I left there, I went over to the Goodwill. Now, if you wanna see yesterday's video, part one of this, I'll link it in this video, so make sure you guys check that out. Um, but I might, dare I say, be able to make this part three. I might be able to make this three parts. <sighs> All right, so I was able to, if you saw yesterday's video, find the rest of the ephemera that I was talking about. If you guys don't care for the ephemera, like the paper goodies and stuff, you can fast forward through this video. I don't mind. Um, but I did find the rest of it, and I'll share that with you guys. But, and forgive me for bending down, my stuff is on the floor. Back to some of the things we found over there. Now, I went to a booth and they had a little display of little knickknacky things, like tiny, like little miniature things. And they were all 49 cents each. So I got these little plastic salt and pepper shakers for 49 cents. I hear you, come here. I got, this guy says Inesco, this little owl. There was a few more there, but they didn't, we didn't buy. Like, I didn't really care for them. And then this guy looks so, like, he's very cool. He looks very stunned, but he's very cool. The, like the glaze and the painting on him. <laughs> This one, does it say anything? It looks like it has a mark, but I, I don't know. That might be just in the, I don't know. It's probably not a mark, but it's this tiny little guy. These are great if you have those little cubby shelves or like I have on my wall, I have um, like an old Pepsi crate and I use that to put little figurines on. And then the last one I got, this guy, look, he's sleeping. And he's a Joseph original, but he was 49 cents as well. So I picked those up and they were in this beautiful, um, another blue to white sort of opalescent hobnail bowl here. Um, I picked this bowl up for $12. So my, my average cost um, of goods there, because I did buy um, a pair of lamps for my house. So I deducted that like that didn't count because it's not a resale item um, until it is. <laughs> and then Gabriel, I got Gabriel a few football packs of football cards. So that didn't count. And then there was a booth that had boxes of like the Keurig machine coffee. So there was like, I got like two boxes of Starbucks coffee. That's like three fifty a box. And then, um, oh, um, one of my lovely, lovely viewers, Virginia. She had sent us this cappuccino that all you have to do is mix it with hot water and I found some of it there. So I bought that as well. So I deducted those things, those purchases from the sale, got my new total, divided it by the items that I had. And my average cost at that store was four and change, $4 and change. So, and I'm telling you this because this bowl, I paid 12 for it, but everything divided out, it came down to about $4. So um, that's why shopping our live sales will really get you a deal because your average cost goes down. So anyways, that's enough math. <laughs> I got that guy. All right, so this goes along with yesterday's Moon and Stars like cheese dome dish, butter dome thing. Um, is the Ellie Smith Green Moon and Stars Compote. Now, usually you see them like this. They don't have their lid. Um, I have found one time and one time only this, and I think I sold it in one of my first live sales last summer. Um, I found this in pink, like a, like a opalescent, iridescent type of pink. Very cool. 
but this guy was seven dollars just to buy him off the bat so um there is a little bit of chipping like on the little tips right there there is a few little issues but i couldn't leave that for seven dollars that's fantastic i love this great piece now aaron might not like shipping it but we love it just just <laughs> All right, so from this same booth, I'm literally, like, I'm so serious. I'm going to take this lady's card and, like, call her phone numbers on here and call her and be like, can I just come and buy a bunch of glass from you? Because she has killer stuff. Look at this. This, she calls it an amber bowl, a brandy. A girl, I can never get this right. Sifter. <laughs> I want to say sniffer. Sniff, sifter, snifter, you know what it is, and I know what it is, but it doesn't come out my mouth the right way. <laughs> but anyways, this was four bucks, this thing. Um, but I thought that was fantastic. So I'm seriously contemplating. I mean, because why else would she put her phone number on here? I'm seriously contemplating calling her and being like, can I just come buy your stuff? You don't even have to put it in your booth. Skip their fee. I'll buy it from you. <laughs> And then the next one that I found right next to it was this one with another business card on it. This one was, had a regular $8 price tag. Now, <clears throat> if you can find it in the thrift store, you might see $8 in the thrift store and be like, geez, Salvation Army or geez, Goodwill, why did you have to put that high of a price tag on it? But when you're thinking that you're getting it from an antique store or something like that, it's like, that's a pretty good price. That's probably the cheapest price in the store. So you have to kind of weigh out, weigh it out, like what you can get and what you have to work with, what um, different places you have to go to. And just kind of look at it like that. Like, yeah, it might not be a right price for the thrift store, but for the antique store, that's a good deal. So that's what I try and tell myself anyway. All right, I got this bag of think what they say it is uh, just, oh it's vintage tags so actually they're little like pop-up tags they're probably I don't know maybe 80s or 90s I don't see a mark but I didn't open them either but there's a bunch of little tags in there <gasps> oh my god look squeakers I have to pause you for a minute Okay, now that my heart attack's over, he did not want to get off the shelf and the whole shelf was shaking. That was bad squeakers. He's been being very naughty lately. Very not happy with you. Hey, don't fight. A day in the life. Okay, so it's the next thing I got was this never fail self rising flower bag. And there, it's new old stock. It was like still in its little plastic wrap. But I mean, what do you think possesses someone to be like, hey, I'm gonna save that? Or like when I see cute like old paper ice cream cups or something, like what do you think makes them, I don't know. But I mean, I'm thankful for it because that's pretty awesome. But that doesn't like cross my mind. Like, oh, this is a really cool cereal box. Maybe I should save this. I don't know. It doesn't, doesn't ever do that in my brain. I don't know. All right, then I have this guy over here. He's seen a few better days, but I thought he was still cute and cue the phone. Okay, now that the phone has stopped ringing, do you, does the universe think I can continue? I don't know. No, there's the train. <laughs> All right, well, I found this. There's no place like home. It's a, well, it's like on felt or something, some kind of material. But I thought it was cute for the people that like little mushroom things and it can be framed. So, I don't know, it was 50 cents. Probably gonna be like maybe a $5 item or something in a live sale. So we got that there. Then, you boys better stop fighting. On my table next to my vase of flowers. Okay, gotta pause again. Excuse me. They're being so bad. Let's try this again. 
You hear them now? Again? Meowing? Oh. Anyways, <laughs> I got a whole sleeve of these vintage railroad passes. They're all for the same guy. So what possessed Solomon, Solomon Bunch was his name, to save all these? Some of them are dated, like 1975. I think I saw 1981 somewhere. But they're kind of, they're kind of quirky. Like this says, um, bulky and mighty railroad, ride the caboose. And then you got one that's like, um, what does it say? I was showing Aaron. Um, <laughs> like this one. It says Panhandle and Western Railroad. Advice, don't get married until you're engaged. I don't know how that's funny. But anyways, it says five commandments. This pass, this pass always valid, except when it's not. So I was just like, I was telling him, I'm like, do you think these are actually real? Like... <laughs> I don't know. You guys let me know. If you guys have heard of any of these, Howard Island Road, Irving, Texas. I don't know. If these were actually, like there was a railway that, look, Adirondack Electric Lines, disgusting and disgraceful railroad. This has to be like some kind of joke, you know? But I thought they were cool ephemera pieces, so I bought them. Then I picked this up. This was interesting. I don't know, interesting, quirky, but they took this piece of like stitchery, something that they made, and I did open it up and they did glue it down. So the fabric is glued down to a base and then they took pieces of um, antique ephemera and glued it down here. So it was just like, I don't know what they were doing, but I thought it was interesting. So, you know, like, I don't know what it's supposed to be. Like, what's your story? I don't know, but I liked it, so I got it. And who was messaging me? Nobody, Never mind. Then we got a recipe collection, Sky Valley and Friends recipe book, cookbook, whatever you wanna call it. Does it have a copyright? 1989. 1989. But it has like beverages and vegetables and casseroles and oh kitty, they're driving me crazy. They just have it had all kinds of stuff and this was a dollar. These are usually like five six dollar items in the sale. Um, yeah, so I got that. This. I think is awesome. This is actually a framed piece of um, sheet music and it says secret love and they're like little, you know, having a little trisk under the tree there. And it says for piano, um, Gabbett R. Resch and was it Gallup and C.E. Pratt, Boston, Published by Oliver Distin, wait, Dit, Ditson, not Distin, Ditson and Co. Um, I can't see a date down there. There probably is, maybe, but there is somewhere, and it looks like there's there was a tear there. But I thought that was so sweet. I don't know. It says Secret Love, just in time for Valentine's Day. You could take it with or without the frame. But and it has like some water damage down there, but. I paid up a little bit for that in the beginning, but you know, my costs dropped. All right guys, so I think I'm gonna turn this into a three part haul video. So if you want to see part one, make sure you tune in. No, make sure you go back and check part one. If you want to see part three, make sure you tune in tomorrow. And I am going to share with you the rest of the goodies that I got from this ginormous freaking indoor flea market. Great stuff. So anyways, don't forget that on Sundays, you guys, that we have live sales here on the channel. We have all kinds of stuff up for sale. All these things that you see in like live haul videos and shop with me videos, we bring all that stuff to you guys for the most part, what I don't keep. 
<laughs> um, and then um, don't forget that to go over on Instagram and make sure you subscribe over there or follow, follow over there. Uh, Cause we like to see new friends come on over there and share with us their collections. And we get to see a little bits of your life and things like that. And drop a heart down below. Comments help us out. They really do. Um, but if you don't think you have anything to say, just leave a little thumbs up, leave a heart or something like that. And I will catch you guys again later. Bye.